We all have two voices in our mind. We have that one voice, that voice that we love to hear, that tells you to stay in bed, to take it easy, telling you not to push yourself too hard, to take the day off, just chill today. But there's another voice in your head. It's a voice that we all want to run away from. And it's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you become? What could you become if you worked as hard as you could? What could you become if you disciplined your mind? What could you become if you stopped taking the easy path? What could you become if you decided to force yourself to do more than ever before? You must listen to that voice. Listen to those questions it's asking. That voice is the beast inside you trying to make its way out. When you want something, don't expect the world to just hand it to you. Life's not going to give you shit for free. There's no handouts. No one's coming to say, oh, you want this? Great. We want to give this to you. No, no. Life isn't like that. But guess what? That's how most people see success. They think of it as if you just do a few things and you instantly become a winner. They stick to a diet for three days and wonder why they're not a fitness model yet. They do a few tasks they got to do, have two meetings, send five emails, call 10 people, then have the audacity to say, why am I not running a $10 million company by now? And it's because they don't get what it really takes. It takes doing the things that most people aren't disciplined enough to do day after day after day after day to the best of your ability, doing it better than everybody else. Striving for perfection every single time. It's getting your ass up and working when you don't want to work. It's lifting the weights when all you want to do is lay on the couch. It's focusing on studying when you'd rather be out partying with your friends. And you might hate doing it. It might be the last thing in the world you want to be doing right now. But you've got to do it like you love it. Because that is what discipline is. Don't allow your feelings to take control of your life. You're the one in charge. At some point, you gotta get fing tired of losing. And you gotta fing play angry. You gotta get to the point where you can't relate to lazy people. You don't speak the same language. You gotta execute. You gotta get it done. Cause the world treats you different when you get it done. You gotta start commanding your mind to do the things that it's gonna take to win, no matter how it feels. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Stop spending time looking for excuses. Look for solutions. That's what winners do. Losers are always looking for the excuse where the winner looks for the solution. You gotta look yourself in the face and ask yourself, am I working hard enough? Am I studying hard enough? Am I doing all that I can do? Am I giving it my all? Am I burning the midnight oil every night? Am I pushing myself to my limits? And don't lie to yourself. Be honest. And if the answer is no, you've got to step up your game and condition yourself to do better. Because all of us can go a little harder. Work a little longer. Try a little more. If we decide to, it's your mind that holds you back. You take control of your mind. You can take control of your world. Stop choosing the easy path. The path of comfort and convenience. All it's going to lead you to is a life of sh quality, sh circumstances, and a sh lifestyle. Choose the hard path. The path of discipline. The path of hard work. The path of consistency. The path of blood, sweat, and tears. The path of giving the full measure. The path of going the extra mile. That path will lead you to your dreams, to your goals, to everything you've ever wanted, and ultimately, to victory. I'd love to tell you it's going to be easy. That you can just go out into the world, do a few things, make a few moves, then you'll be rich. It doesn't work like that. If you're going to make it, you got to get real doggish. You got to get real gritty. When you have something in mind that you want, if you're going to see it become a reality, you got to get absolutely fucking dedicated to that thing. It's got to become your new fucking lifestyle. You got to commit your very being to that thing. You got to eat it, you got to breathe it, you got to sleep it. You've got to want that thing so bad that all the people around you think you're insane. You got to want it more than you want to party. You got to want it more than you want to rest. You got to want it more 
than any of the short-term gratifications that tempt you to take the easy way. There's no easy way for you. There is only the way. And that way is the way of discipline, dedication, and hard work. If anybody tells you to be more balanced, they don't get it. All the average motherfuckers are afraid of dedicating themselves to something for more than a few fucking days. You gotta allow yourself to be unbalanced for days, months, years, however much time you need in order to build that life, that dream, that thing you want so bad. All the average motherfuckers will wish for it. They'll hope for it. They'll talk about it. But you'll be the one who gets up and works for it. You got to dedicate every second of your fucking life to that thing you want. You got to be willing to cut people off that don't support you. You got to give every single day, every ounce of fucking energy and effort you have in order to pull it off. When you push yourself to that level of obsession and drive when everyone thinks you're insane, you're psycho, you're losing your mind, you're at the exact right level of what it'll take to become the best. No one great ever made it to the top through being casual. You have to force your body and mind to operate on such a high level that others are scared to reach for. So you got to make the decision. Are you willing to do the things required to go to that level? Because if you can reach the point where your mindset is, I will do whatever the fuck I have to do to win, you will dominate every single challenge and competitor you face. Dedicate yourself to the activity. Dedicate yourself to one month, six months, a year, five years. I don't know what stage you're at, but you gotta push yourself to go further than you have been. You have more in you. The difference between the average guy and the winner on top is the average guy does what he knows he's supposed to do, what he knows is good for him, but falls off the plan after a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a few years. The winner, on the other hand, they stick to it relentlessly. They never stop. They do what they know they gotta do and go even further. They break through the mental barriers people make up in their minds. They stick to the task for as long as it takes to get whatever the hell they want. They don't give up what the weather's like, what time it is, what day it is, what's going on in the rest of the world. They focus purely on the task at hand. And they nail it to the very best of their ability every single time, every single day. If you stay consistent, you can do what many think to be impossible for one person. A person can move mountains given enough time, enough energy, enough persistence, enough discipline, enough consistency. All it takes is you getting up and doing those things you know you got to do without any interruption, without any deviation, without anything getting in the way. You don't leave room for your feelings to get a say in whether you execute or not. No, you do what needs to be done without any internal debates. You keep your focus on that thing you want, and you don't allow anyone or anything to pull you away from it. The power is in the routine. If you make your daily routine consist of all those things you gotta do, you will 100% get there. It's only a matter of time.